everyone, my name is Leanna, and this is the home of my friends, the Monteverdes. Come on in, everyone, plenty of room on the front porch. They're not home right now, but they did ask me to come over and give you the grand tour. They call this their vision house. It was inspired by a series of green homes built around the country by Green Builder Media. And what is that vision? To live in a home that works in harmony with the environment, where the air is clean, water and energy are used efficiently, and technology helps the families save money, all while protecting the environment. And the Monteverdes believe that anybody can achieve this vision for, through a few positive changes. For some, that does mean investing in new products and new technologies, but for others, it can simply mean changing a, or excuse me, changing a few behaviors around the home. Every little step can make a big difference in the Monteverdes' efforts begin here on the front porch. They're using boral brick, cultured stone, and concrete roof tile and trim around the entire exterior of the home. Now the brick, it is great at holding in its temperature, which saves the family money on heating and air conditioning. And I think it also adds a touch of beauty and warmth to the front porch as well. It's a beautiful and green that is sustainable living at its finest. Now this is a very intelligent home, and the family is using the Nexia Home Intelligence System to remotely control the home's thermostat, lighting, security system, appliances, and even this keypad lock from Schley. Now Hugo, it's Mr. Monteverde. He gave me a temporary key code to use. So once I enter the code, since it's part of that system, he is going to be notified so we can monitor who's entering his home. And when he has that security camera activated, he'll even be able to see us from his smartphone. So I'm going to go ahead and enter the code, then we'll head on inside, everybody. Watch your step, everybody, and welcome to the Vision House. Sounds like Hugo has planned a warm welcome for us. Just another advantage of that Nexia home intelligence system. We may have a few folks join us a little later on. <clears throat> now, as I said, outside the home's lighting is connected to that Nexia home intelligence system. So Hugo can have it set up to automatically welcome guests like ourselves. Come on in, everyone. Right this way? Yes, no, not a problem. He can have it set up to automatically welcome guests like ourselves or to make sure all those lights are turned off when the family's away. And speaking of the lighting, I want you all to check out these light fixtures. There are no old-fashioned CFL bulbs for this family. They're using the latest Sylvania LED fixtures, and this helps them save about 80% on energy traditionally used by lighting. And while we're in this part of the home, I also want you all to look at this Comfort Link 2 thermostat by train. From here, we can control the heating and air conditioning throughout the entire home. Now, since this is also connected to that Nexia home intelligence system, we can access it from any computer or smartphone, so you don't even have to be home to adjust the temperature. But when everyone in the household is home, there is no more fighting over the thermostat. Every room in this home is divided into a different zone, which means the temperatures can be set individually. So if Nadine wants a little extra heat in the living room, she can have that, while Hugo stays cool in the kitchen. Actually, this is something we just found out from Hugo and Nadine, but they did just order a brand new fireplace. It's a closed fireplace, so it does create real heat without dealing with any of the particles of a traditional fireplace. And the unobstructed view is made possible through the shop Robax glass because it can withstand temperatures over 1400 degrees Fahrenheit. And you may be looking around for it. It is on order and it should be in shortly. We're just very excited. Come on in, everyone. Yep, go ahead. Now, speaking of Hugo and Nadine, I'm going to go ahead and introduce you all to the family. This is Hugo and his wife, Nadine. Hugo is a city planner and Nadine's an interior designer, if you can already tell. Their daughter, Samantha, she is 11 and thrilled to have a new baby brother, Roberto, in the family. This is when we all say, aww. And of course, I can't forget about the family's pride and joy, their dog, Rounder. But soon, Hugo's mother, Anita, she is going to be joining the family in an upstairs addition, so if you see a bit of construction along our tour, that's why. And I know these days, we're all big into recycling, but the Monteverdes, they have found a way to add a touch of beauty to their home. This wood table, for example, it has been in Hugo's family for decades. Hanging out to heirloom furniture means less waste and less strain on resources, but it's also a great source of family memories. And the chairs you'll see around the table, these were actually made of recycled plastic bottles. So using furniture made from recycled items is another great way to go to be green. 
and even the placemats, like these two in the middle and the two on the very end. These were actually made out of recycled newspapers, so Nadine, she does have a flair for fun, colorful design choices. Now please feel free to walk around, explore, and touch. I just ask that you do not touch any electronics. We want the family to return home in the settings they had them set when they left. Now in the kitchen, Hugo and Nadine, they do enjoy cooking, and lucky me, they don't mind sharing with their neighbors. But instead of keeping a lot of cookbooks and recipes around, they have opted for this widescreen touch tablet from AMX. From here, they pull up their favorite recipes and tips straight from the internet to the tablet. And they also use this tablet to keep their five easy green reminders handy. Each of these reminders does represent a separate goal of the Vision House. Their five goals are to protect natural resources, save energy, add durability, protect the indoor air, and save water. So those are just some things to keep in mind as we continue along our tour. But some of the most important green choices you can make in your home are the hidden ones. For example, many traditional cabinets contain volatile organic compounds. And that can be something like formaldehyde in the glue that holds them together or a chemical in the paint and stain. But these days, homeowners do have a variety of safer materials and finishes to choose from. Hugo and Nadine selected these pre-built, pre-finished cabinets from Armstrong Origins. These cabinets, because they're pre-built and pre-finished, they're actually low VOC, so they're environmentally friendly and economical as well. But my favorite kitchen appliance is the dishwasher, and on average we do about 215 loads a year. Could be a little more, could be a little less, depending on your family size. But back in the 90s, dishwashers did use about 10 gallons of water per load. That is a lot of water. This dishwasher from Bosch actually uses half that. It has a half load option for those days when you just really don't have as many dishes to do, and that half load option does use 30% less water. It also has an eco-action mode, which is going to run a longer cycle at a lower temperature using 25% less energy. Now Bosch also makes this cooktop and oven. This oven is great because it does help by keeping all those high temperatures locked in. Because living in Central Florida, in the middle of summertime, running the oven doesn't exactly sound ideal. But this oven does help by keeping the rest of your kitchen cool. This induction cooktop is covered in a glass ceramic surface called shot ceram. It's kind of like the glass used in an astronomer's telescope, but what that means is that it is shock resistant and has virtually no expansion when heated. So when you use the correct kitchen utensils, all the heat is going to be directly transferred to the pot or skillet, leaving those surrounding areas cool to the touch, which makes it very safe if you have children, no hands are coming up and getting burns. But it's also hard to break and very easy to clean. It is just a wipe down surface. Now, Hugo and Nadine, they are always looking for ways to make their home more energy efficient. And one fantastic way they found is through insulation. They have installed this open cell polyurethane foam from bio-based insulation. It seals and insulates in one easy step, making it very energy efficient. But this is also an environmentally friendly product because it is made from renewable bio-based content and doesn't use as much petroleum, which is typically used in foam insulations. Now, Nadine, she really does like the fact that this is a USDA certified bio-based product, which does exceed all USDA bio-preferred standards, making it very environmentally friendly. So we want to take a look at this wood flooring for just a minute before we move on to the next part of your home. This flooring is also by Armstrong, the same company that makes those cabinets. This flooring allows us to enjoy wood's natural beauty while knowing it was derived from a carefully managed renewable resource. So what that means is anytime Armstrong uses a tree to make flooring or cabinets, they are going to go ahead and plant another one in its place. Did you want to say anything before I move on to the next zone? Yeah, I'll share a little uh, backstory, a little anecdote that uh, occurred when we were developing the project. Um, the, the Disney people have lots of experience at this, and so they, they know how to predict spaces and how things are going to perform, and uh, right, right down to the last detail. And so when they were first starting to uh, do the rehearsals with uh, the cast members and, and bringing in uh, uh, the first audiences, they were realizing that they were having a real difficult time warming the space up. Uh, and they kept having to reduce the air conditioning. They finally figured out the reason for it, and that is that because we had moved away from old-fashioned incandescent light bulbs, we have so much less heat that's being put into this space that it, it affected the air conditioning in such a way that it had to be reduced tremendously uh, in order to uh, achieve a, a comfortable temperature. So that's just a real-life example of why it's important to make these choices in your own home and, and to specify products that have better performance because the offset for the for the 
additional investment that you might make in, in these later generation devices will often make up for itself very quickly in terms of energy use. All right, we're going to move on to the next part of the Monte Verde's home, everybody, right this way. We will be discussing the laundry room first. I was curious, what is the countertop made out of? Those countertops are actually called glass slab countertops. What there is, it is, is a big piece of concrete with little pieces of recycled colored glass and it's covered in another surface. A variety of different companies do make their own version, but that is the original glass slab, glass slab countertops. Those are, that is the number one question we get here at the Vision House, is what the countertops are made out of. Come on in everyone, plenty of rooms, you can try it this way. Now the laundry room is a room that uses a lot of water and a lot of energy, and for a family of this size, it really wouldn't be uncommon to do about 400 loads each year. But this Bosch from Letty Washer, excuse me, uses one third less water and one third less detergent than a typical top loader. It also has a great tumble cycle that is going to put less stress and wear on your clothing. And this dryer is also by Bosch, and it has a moisture detector that can sense how dry your clothes are. So even if you put a load in for an hour, if it's dry after 40 minutes, this dryer will automatically shut off. So it is using information to help reduce energy use. I'm going to squeeze right behind you guys, sorry. And in here, the family did install a train air handler and whole house clean air system. Tighter homes like these with a lot of zoning, we need more re-air circulation. So this air handler does the job of removing moisture and pollutants from the air, preventing any mold and mildew from forming. And they're also, excuse me, you and Adina have also chose to go with the Train XL20i heating and air conditioning unit. It is the highest energy efficient model on the market today. It has a SEER rating of 20, which means it can save the typical homeowner about 50% on their electric bill. But my favorite room in the Monteverde home is their master bathroom. And this room does have a lot of opportunity for water conservation. So you want to make sure your own fixtures and faucets are as efficient and leak free as possible. Hugo and Nadine replaced the original ones with these by Kohler because they wanted faucets that were stylish yet durable. <coughs> and I know we all enjoy a nice hot shower and Hugo and Nadine they're no different, but they did want to be as smart as possible about their water usage. The shower actually runs on the Kohler excuse me, digital prompt system. From here they can control the exact length and the exact temperature of their shower. So it's fun, convenient, and you do see the savings on those water bills. And as I said earlier, Nadine, she is an interior designer, likes to add a little style to each room. This tub might look old-fashioned, but it's actually brand new and made out of recycled iron furnaces. So I think it's a really great example of how green living can be very stylish and beautiful for your home as well. But with all those hot showers and baths, you might be wondering, Leanna, how is there no mold and mildew forming on their glass tile? That's because they have installed the Panasonic Whisper Green Ventilation Fan. It is whisper quiet. It's running right now. But its job is to remove all that moisture from there, preventing any mold and mildew from forming. And it's also energy efficient, so it's just a little added bonus point. Now the toilet. This high-tech toilet does use a remote control to manage its water-saving flush cycles. It has a half flush option and a full flush option. It comes with an automatic seat raise and lower function. It's fully equipped with a bidet and a blow dryer, so it does help reduce toilet paper use. But my favorite part about the toilet is that it does warm your feet and your seat. All white listen to your favorite beat. You can plug any radio or iPod in, listen to your favorite tunes or the game, whatever you're interested in. But as I said, the toilet seat is heated, and Hugo told me it's totally clean for you. So if you guys want to come up and touch it, it is a heated toilet seat. What happens if it plays the national anthem? Do you have to <laughs> I'll have to ask Hugo about that later. Somebody, so if anyone's come by and touch it, it's pretty cool. <laughs> No one's brave enough to touch the toilet. Here we go, we have one brave soldier. <laughs> nice, right? I think it's a great example of how creativity and technology are coming together for green living. So I'll leave that up if anyone decides to get a little brave and come by. We are going to move on to the bedrooms next, everybody. <laughs> get a picture of that. Now, little Roberto, he's definitely benefiting from the family's green vision. The air in his room is clean thanks to the train, train air handler as well as the choice of low VOC faints. And best of all, mom and dad can keep a watchful eye from anywhere using that Nexia home intelligence system. Sister Samantha lives just next door. It looks like 
She didn't quite get the memo about our tour coming through today, that's all right. She has working pretty hard in her big science fair project. Looks like it has something to do with alternative energy sources, but I bet you that she's, excuse me, I bet you she got the idea from the Vision House Green website. It's a great resource for kids who can't learn how to make the cardboard elephant, the newspaper dog, or even the laundry detergent pig, so it's very fun as well. Now our last stop before we head outside is the master bedroom. And this is a great place for Nadine to just kind of get away from it all. Let's see, get those lights turned on. Well, that's okay, we'll just move on to this side of the room anyways. Now Nadine really does like to use this space to get away from it all. And she really likes the fact that from any AMX tablet, computer, or smartphone, she can access anything from the family's media library. And also from any tablet or smartphone, she can also have access to these Pella windows, which use SmartSync technology to automatically raise and lower those blinds. Now these windows, they were designed to reflect heat out during the summer, keep that heat locked in during the winter. Now each of these windows also has three layers of glass inside, and between two of those layers is argon gas. Now argon gas is completely safe, it's just a little bit denser than regular air, so it does add a natural insulation to those windows. We wanted to be sure that the message that comes through when people visit the Vision House is that, first of all, nobody can do everything, but everybody can do something. And we find that when we poll people around the country, whether they're renters or homeowners or whatever their situation is, they have common concerns. They're concerned about energy costs. They're, content, they're concerned about uh, the availability of, of, of good quality water. And they're concerned about indoor environment quality. When we began to understand building science relative to common everyday residential construction, we understood early on that we had to tighten the building in order to have higher energy performance. So we improved the windows, we improved the insulation, we improved the air barrier, we did all kinds of things to tighten up the building. But there was an unintended consequence as a result of that, and that is that we really deteriorated the indoor air quality. The missing man in HVAC was ventilation. So what we found today, according to the EPA, is that Four out of ten children born in America today will develop some sort of respiratory ailment. One in five families in America today has at least one family member who suffers from asthma. The EPA tells us that of all the chemicals that they monitor relative to human health, only two are found in greater concentration outdoors than indoors. And probably most startling, they also say that children today spend 90% of their time indoors. So while we have to address all of these issues about water conservation, durability, uh, aesthetics, and uh, performance, we also had to deal with air quality. So that's why these integrated systems that allow us to treat all of these things in a systematic way are so important. And I think we've accomplished a, a very good demonstration of that here at the Vision House. All right, everyone, we're going to move on to the backyard so the family's doing to be green outdoors, as well as where Nadine has set up her interior design workshop. Excuse me. Right this way, everybody. Something you're definitely going to want to check out right away is on the roof of the converted garage. Those tiles are boral pure smog eating tiles and they do just that. Each of those tiles is treated with a catalyst that works with sunshine to help remove any harmful elements from the air. So if anything like smog or pollution lands on that tile, it is going to be converted into an inner calcium nitrate, which is a fancy way of saying powder, but it's going to get washed away with each rainfall. But you know Nadine, the other day she did tell me that in one minute the sun provides enough energy to power the earth for an entire year. So when they were converting the garage into her studio, she did jump at the chance of installing some hot and hot solar modules. Now even in cool and cloudy weather, those modules, they're going to produce enough energy to keep Nadine's studio running smoothly. And they're also helping reduce carbon emissions. So it's another great example of how a green product is saving money, saving energy, and helping protect the environment. 
So using solar power, wind energy, along with recycling and a few other techniques, it is helping make homes like this self-sufficient, and that is the <coughs> ultimate goal of the Vision House. But Hugo, he does like to be prepared for the unexpected, so he did install the Kohler Power Systems Generator to keep that electricity running just in case of a storm or any other event. If you all want to come on in, this is Nadine's studio. She does like the convenience of working from home that is cutting down on the commute. But when she does leave, she is sure to take the family's all-electric Chevy Volt, which you can see parked just outside the Vision House. Also outside, you're going to see a product that makes owning an electric vehicle very simple. It's a residential electric vehicle charger from Siemens, and it's a product I think we're going to see more and more of of driveways in the future. Now this is Nadine's studio. A lot of the materials you'll see in here you've seen throughout the home as well. But something I never expected to find in a green home was a fire sprinkler. But there are sprinklers designed to protect your home and the environment. This automated fire sprinkler does help reduce the spread of the fire, which means less water is going to be used in a traditional fire hose, so less strain on resources and less of your stuff that might get taken to the dump. Now, if some of you are wondering where to start with Green Living, GreenBuilderMag.com is a fantastic resource. It's full of information and objective reviews on every product you've seen here today. So if some of us would just make one or two small changes, I bet it would make a big difference. Now, on behalf of Green Builder Media and all of our other sponsors, I want to thank you all so much for taking the time out of your evening to come visit the Vision House. Hope you learned a little something. If you have any further questions, I'll be standing by the exit door to answer those to the best of my abilities. Please feel free to grab a little Vision House handout just to the right, or check out greenbuildermag.com for any additional information. Thank you all so much for coming by this evening. Thank you. Thank you.